Hi everybody, Michelle here with Sew It Online and I'm doing another video for the Janome Continental uh, M7. This time it's going to be about some of the icons that are on the touch screen itself and how to use them along with the AccuSpark app for Janome. All right, so let's take a look at this. We've got, we've turned the machine on and we've already got it threaded and we've got it bobbin loaded. But let's go over through, you know, some of the things that are on this awesome screen right here. First, you're gonna notice that the screen is tilted a little bit so you have less glare when you're looking at it. Now, normally I would be sitting down at the machine, um, but right now I don't even have any glare even coming down looking at it. It looks great. I can even change the color of the background. There's probably about nine different colors that you can choose from. But let's talk about these icons here across the top and along the side. So this very first one up here, when I touch that, it turns yellow. What that does is when I am sewing, if it's highlighted and I stop sewing, the presser foot will lift up just slightly, okay? And I can have the needle down into the machine. So it's a nice pivot feature. If I take that off, then the presser foot will stay down until I actually use the presser foot lifter to lift the, the foot off of the bed of the machine. But so this is really cool. So let's try this real quick. Let's highlight it. I stop sewing and see how it lifts up just a little bit and my needle is still down into the machine. Then I can actually pivot and I just start sewing again. It drops it, stop, pivot again. And I can keep going like that. Let's cut our threads. Okay. The next one is going to be if you're going to be doing a twin needle. Okay, so if I have a twin needle set on the machine, that's the setting I want to make sure that's used. We'll highlight, we'll touch that. We're going to know we're not, we're going to cancel the twin needle setting. This one here is going to be your feed dogs are going to automatically drop. So if you're going to do any darning or free motion quilting, this is the foot that you want to touch to drop those feed dogs. And I'll also tell you to do to uh, use the PD-H um, hopping foot. We're not going to do that, so we're going to put that back up. And it tells me I want to put maybe the presser foot or the, the foot itself is the letter A. Um, I actually have the F foot on because I'm going to do some satin stitches here in a little bit. This one right here says make sure the proper foot holder is attached. This one right here is going to be used. Let me pull this one out real quick. If you're going to be using the dual feed, okay, the dual feed foot, there's this one and then there's a single stitch one. This acts like a walking foot. When you have this attached to the machine, you need to have those three little arrows. If you don't have that highlighted, this is just going to run across your fabric like any other presser foot. But when you have it highlighted, it will actually move like a walking foot over the top of your fabric. So you want to make sure that that is engaged. You can actually have both of those engaged at the same time. So that's what that's for. So if it feels like it's not going anywhere, make sure those three little arrows um, are highlighted. And last but not least, it looks like a little piece of paper and you're going to see that it opens up all of your utility stitches. Now I'm going to close out of here for just a second and I'm going to unhighlight those two there. And now you can see all my stitches are back. See how they're all highlighted again? I can see all of them. So when those, the um, dual feed foot is on, there's only certain stitches that you can use. And with that, so that the mechanism you, you know, is working on that dual feed foot. So again, um, when you unhighlight everything, all of your stitches light up. So let's look at, across the top, um, over to the far right hand side. You have your home screen, which is, this is your basic home screen here. You have a little file folder and you can actually save your stitches to the file, to a file folder, either into the machine or to a USB. And the USB is just to the uh, right side of the foot, right side of the foot, right side of the machine, right? And speaking of which, what else we have? We have a settings page, 
up oh, let's close out of here now this is a basic this says your quick stitch select your quilt block advisor if you want your manual dual dual feed setting on or off so you can actually put it on and it's automatically on all the time I want to keep it off because I want to I don't have that foot on my machine all the time you can also find your machine information so if there is an update for your machine you can check to see what version you have running how many hours your machine has been on for and um, how many hours it has actually stitched now the newest version for as of this video the newest version is 1.11 if you don't have 1.11 then you want to go to the Genomi site to learn how to download that update in your machine all right, the next one is going to be a settings. And this one has three icons across the top. It has a sewing machine. It has information about the thread itself. And then what language you want. So if you speak another language, why not? You can sew in Spanish, right? So the threads here, this is information about the threads. Do you want the thread cut on or off? A needle stop position. Do you want it above the needle plate or do you want it down into the machine? This is where your auto tension and your presser foot pressure also is. There are some stitches when you read in your user manual that it will tell you to lighten up the presser foot pressure. This is where that is done. So it's automatically on auto, but you can lessen it or increase it depending on the stitch that you're using. This also has four pages. So if you see on the side here, it says 104. I can actually go down and you can see the rest of the pages and what information that it can give you. So you can really tweak this machine to what you're and what you like it to be. There's a buzzer sound on how loud it is, a screen brightness, if it's inches or millimeters. This setting actually has six pages to it. You can actually even adjust the lighting. Okay. And you can do the cot lock display. You can the needle plate lifter that we saw earlier. It can, you know, it's uh, six seconds right now. You can readjust that. There's also a touch screen calibration. If there's ever a time where it doesn't feel like your machine is, you know, getting you right where, like where you're pushing it, and there is a stylus that comes with the machine, then go ahead and recalibrate that touch screen. So let's get out of here. And I want to go over the AccuSpark app for you. Now, this is an app that you can download on your phone or your tablet and I've got it on my phone here and what the cool thing is this little icon that's right here it's a Q what is the QRS code I think it is anyway this little code no matter what you have highlighted when you put your phone up to that code it will automatically bring up the information about that particular stitch so I'm gonna go to one it's at the very bottom it's number 26 and I just recently found this that you can actually sew in reverse and I thought well how do you even set that up so I'm gonna highlight that stitch and on my phone this is my AccuSpark right here and in the upper right hand corner is a little icon that I'm gonna touch and you see how the screen comes up now I'm gonna just barely get it on there and automatically it goes to U-26 which is that stitch and it tells me it's a straight stitch reverse it talks to me about when I would use it used to sew reverse stitching without turning the fabric by hand also used for darning tubular garments who would have known right so anyway I can take a look at this and find out anything about this machine just by highlighting something that I, I'm not sure about. This is number 22. I'm gonna to touch that icon again. And it talks about it's a single needle. And let's see, where's my, did it do that? Let's go up again, try that. Okay, and it says, press the key. Uh, well, and I'm not sure, oh, it's a buttonhole. So there's the buttonhole thing there, but it also talks about threading the machine. Look at this, this is like your user manual right in your phone, so portable. Look at this video. 
If you ever have issues threading your machine or maybe you miss something, the video is wonderful that you can watch on your tablet or your phone. So your user manual is with you in this little compartment on your phone and you have access to it anytime. There's many different categories to choose from. So I'm going to stop this for a second here. But look at all these. Inserting the bobbin, built-in needle threader, speed control. I can go to the main screen. Go to the main. Come on. Well, let's get out of here. And it says different manual stitch settings, touch screen settings, sewing application info, stitch chart, tutorial videos. So there's all kind of things. It's a free app from Janome called AccuSpark. So I highly recommend you kind of take some time to take a look at what your machine can do. It's an amazing machine. And there's, I mean, you just got to take some time and really sit down at it. Um, but keep an eye out for more videos. We're going to be really going over quite a few things with this machine. But I hope you learned a little bit more about that touchscreen and the AccuSpark app from Janome. Thanks.